What's going on everybody? I'm going to do a little servo comparison. I'm not going to really do like a review on it, but I picked up this monster servo. 56 kg, high voltage, 8.4 volts, all brushless, metal case. It's from a uh, Raz Chefrin or something like that. It's his YouTube. I seen it and it looked pretty awesome. It's pretty it's got some good ratings on it, so 7.4 volts, uh, 667 in inch ounces, and then at 8.4 volts, it's 778 inch, inch ounces. But I'm running the Spectrum 2-in-1, the 1400 kV in this thing, and they don't go to 8.4. So we're going to do both tests on... 7.4 volts and I have in it right now the raw 500 and I'm not too sure what the specs are on that but I'll put a picture of what they are uh, I'm running an Ovonic 2200 3S in it so neither one of them are direct power so and like I said 7.4 volts for both of them I'm just going to do a quick little test to see how this compares to the to the old raw 500. I saw Raz's video on YouTube and he had it hooked up to an X-Max shock and ran it for hours I guess and it is fast that's for sure so I don't know how strong it would be for a crawler that's what this is it's a it's a crawler uh, has a VFD twin in it so it's got the selectable overdrive and all that good stuff in it. So let's give it a quick little test. Let's see how fast it is. The raw 500, pretty fast servo. So check it out. All right, let's try to get it in a bind and see how it does. Give me just a second. All right, let's get this thing in a bind. This is the raw 500 on 7.4 volts. Guess it's not really in a bind. I need to try to figure out something better. Try to get it in a bind. This thing weighs seven uh, seven pounds ten ounces. So it's pretty vertical right there. And the raw five hundred kind of neutrals out when I'm on the rocks actually. So right here it's doing fine. See right there it's pretty bound up kind of neutrals out so let's get that monster in there and try to get it in the same spot and see how it does you can see I'm turning it all the way it's not doing nothing probably getting hot too so I have to check it out Let's get that other servo and try to get it in the same spot. Let's see how hot it is first. Yeah, it's pretty warm. Like, it's not like super hot, but it's warm for sure. Let's get that other servo in there. All right, so I got the raw 500 out of it. Pulled this monster out of the package. And they're almost identical. They look pretty much the same. Like, 
I don't know. It looks <laughs> looks like the same thing. So let's get this monster in there and see how it does. I do like this monster that actually came with a horn. So it says a uh, perfect pass on there. Because this guy, is, he's like more of a speedrun guy. The guy that designed this. He's into like trying to break the world record top speed RC. And uh, he makes some badass builds. Like, badass. So, I don't know, go, go check him out. It's a, it's a cool, it's a cool channel. So, let's get this in there. Alright, we got that monster in there. Looks... Just like the raw 500, don't really look no different. We're gonna try to do the same little test that we did on the wall here and over on the rocks. Like I said, the raw 500 was on 7.4 volts. This is on 7.4 volts. Ovonic 2200 uh, 3S. Spectrum 1400 KV, like I said, two in one. VFD twin, kind of give you a look on the inside. Had to take the, the interior out to get that servo plugged in so you can kind of see what's going on in there but it has the BFD twin so check it out let's see that's dig let's see that's dig disengage and then this one is the selectable overdrive and then I could actually just make it rear wheel drive too. So this thing works pretty good, but let's give this servo a speed speed test. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see. very much faster than the raw 500 honestly let's get it on the wall right here let's see how it does same Go take it over to the rocks now. Give me just a second. Let's try to get it in that same spot. That's where it was. Let's see. Hmm, about the same. Don't really see a difference from the Raw 500, honestly. They look the same and they perform the same, honestly. In my opinion. Like I said this is more. This guy, he's more into speed runs and stuff, so I don't know necessarily know if this is like for rock crawling which it don't really matter honestly the numbers are good decent anyway not the best it's not the strongest servo out there but yeah it was worth a shot so i mean it's not a bad servo by any means i don't think it don't seem like it so we're gonna run it let's see if she got hot like the raw 500 got pretty warm just doing that. The same. 
It's about the same. It's warm. So. But yeah, I don't really see much of a difference. So, there you go.